Welcome, people of the internet. My name is Talon, and we're going to be seeing if Gamera can defeat the Showa era, preferably the Heisei era of Gamera versus the Showa era. Gamera's first opponent will be Mothra. His second opponent will be King Kong. His third opponent will be Ebira. His fourth will be Hedera. His fifth will be Gigan. His sixth will be Megalon. And his seventh will be Mechagodzilla. And his eighth and final will be King Ghidorah. First, let's go over what abilities Heisei Gamera has. We are going to be using the Gamera from 1999. First ability is Plasma Fireball. Quote, By fusing and compressing plasma energy and oxygen stored in his body within a chamber in his throat, Gamera ionizes the condensed energy and forms a plasma ball. End quote. And this is all of my information, and this video is coming from Wikizilla. His second ability is High Plasma. This version of the fireball is emitted at a power of 120%, so this is one of his most powerful abilities. His third ability is Ultimate Plasma. Gamera summons forth a huge amount of mana which radiates from the sky and converges inside his body, where it's converted into plasma energy inside, Gamera, inside Gamera's plasma conversion furnace. The energy is then charged up to, to the limit at which Gamera's body can store it. After which the plastron of Gamera shell opens and exposes the plasma convection furnace. A huge stream of plasma is then fired directly from the furnace, which is immensely powerful, and it comes out of his shell from the front. Now, one of my favorite abilities is the Banishing Fist. With his right hand, he was pinned against a wall with from Iris' tentacle, and he blows it off and, and absorbs an attack from Iris, which he forms a huge fire fist and explodes Iris' body. Another one of his abilities is his Fire Breath, which is just basically a fire stream coming out of his mouth. Gamera also has a shell that can protect him from the back. Gamera also has Regeneration, and Gamera also has a Thermal Energy Conversion ability, which allows him to absorb flames or fuel as like energy that he can use in the fight. Gamera also has very powerful physical attacks. His first opponent is Mothra, and I think Gamera will absolutely sweep Mothra. Mainly due to the fact that all Gamera needs to do is just shell cut Mothra and he wins automatically. I think he will win or he will use a plasma fireball to incinerate Mothra in a huge flame. His second opponent is King Kong. And I also do think Gamera will sweep King Kong mainly due to the fact that Gamera has the size advantage on King Kong. With Gamera standing 80 meters while King Kong stands only 45. I think all Gamera would need to do is either fire a plasma ball or just get up close and personal and just obliterate King Kong with his physical capabilities. His third opponent is Ebira, and personally I do think Gamera would have a bit of a hard time defeating Ebira, but I do think Gamera would still win. I think the thing that might hold Gamera from winning back is being in the water, and I know that Gamera is adept to being in the water. But I do think with Ebira having that hook claw, Ebira might, might be able to hook on the Gamera and just like slice through one of his legs or arms or shell. But I do think Gamera would eventually come out on top, mainly due to the size advantage that he has on Ebira. Gamera will still continue on from Ebira. His fourth opponent is Hedera. And I think this might be his hardest battle yet, mainly due to Hedera having multiple attacks that could definitely harm Gamera. I do think Gamera will have a hard time with his Acidic Sludge and his Heterum Ray, but I do think Gamera would come out on top. I think due to Gamera having fire, I do think he would win, because in order to get rid of Hedera, you have to insert the entire thing. So Gamera moves on. Now Gigan will be not his hardest battle yet, but he will have a definitely hard time, but I do think Gamera would still come out on top. I think it's mainly due to because Gigan does not have a beam that Gamera can hurt him with, from what I can remember from the last of Seen Dazzle vs. Gigan. Gamera would still come on top, mainly also due to his size advantage and also his fireball. Mainly, the only reason Gamera is currently winning is because of his size advantage. So Gamera moves on. Now, Megalon will be his hardest fight, mainly because of the exploding bombs that Megalon has that he can shoot at Gamera, and I do think these exploding bombs will have a huge impact on how Gamera wins this. I do think Megalon would die to Gamera, but I think Gamera will be severely injured from the explosions that Megalon will cause to his body. Now, I'm gonna be honest, Mechagodzilla destroys 
I say Gamera with me because all of his abilities. I think he might get too much for Gamera, and I do think Gamera would fall at this portion of the entire Showa era. But if he did make it past, he would also get sweeped by King Ghidorah. So, Heisei Gamera did very, very good. Do I think Gamera would actually make it through the whole thing? No. He would get sweeped by Mecha God Zilla. But if he did ma manage to make it through King Ghidorah, he would still get killed by King Ghidorah. Now, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Make sure you guys do like and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace!